Hey, hey everyone, this is Lee the Video Game Truck Guy. Before you watch this video, I have a quick update, and that is that the regular training, which is $1,500, will no longer be $1,500 uh, after 18th of April of 2017. It is going to $6,500, and basically, if you are purchasing your video game truck from me, the standard 2.0 unit, if you still want to get the training free uh, with your video game truck, you have to put your order in with your video game truck by the 18th. So that's it. Everything is closed. The only way you still get that $1,500 prize is if you purchase your 2.0 unit with me by the 18th of April. Um, and that is it. After that, the training goes up to $6,500, whether you purchase your unit from me or not. But it's $6,500, and that price is non-negotiable, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want the best, you have a week to act upon the regular 2.0 unit. Now, as far as virtual reality game truck unit, you will still get the best training in the industry, hands down, as part of the package. But that's it, guys guys no more $1,500 deals I've tried to help as many people as I could in the past two years just with this type of training and now the price is going up to $6,500 for a three-day event if you have any questions comments let me know but please go ahead and watch the following video and if you have questions uh, again let me know and subscribe thank you so much do your thing hello hello everyone this is Lee the video game truck guy and today's video is titled drive through nation and there's a specific reason for it so as you run your business the one of the things you must have probably realized especially if you assess yourself or if you're new to business is that we the people want things not now but yesterday and we want it uh, to be consistent and we want it to be uh, convenient, right? So when you, let's say, are in line for your, your Starbucks coffee or McDonald's, you, it's consistently going to be there. So you'll go if, if that's in your pattern or if that's your habit to do. Um, you know, it's, you know what you're getting. Uh, it's, it's fairly fast unless it's a really long Starbucks line, right? So they did a good job in their department of marketing. Um, right. And, and, and you get what you pay for. So you have to adapt your business and the way you function towards that type of thinking. You want it to be able to deliver uh, your product or your service fast. You want it to be uh, very convenient and you want it to be as hassle free for your client as possible. So what are some of the things that you need to have in order to be able to do that in your business? Well, first of all, you have to be able to uh, jump over the hurdles for your client, right? So uh, let's say if they're booking a party, like you'd say if you're in the same sphere of business as I am, you want that one phone call to solve all the issues. And by the time you hang up, you want it to be done. That's it. The client doesn't have to think about anything else. They know that you've delivered. Uh, that's it. You're done, right? So I know there are certain other companies who have the phone call, there's contracts, deposits, and it's just this long, drawn-out process where everything needs to be handled on the first phone call. That's it, one time. That creates convenience. And then, of course, your service, it goes to the uh, location of where the client wants, uh, wants the service to go, so now it's convenient. So you're providing uh, convenience, and you are providing the ease of booking the event, right? So anytime you're thinking about how can I make things better for my business, you know, think of the drive-through nation. What can you do to make things consistent, fast, and easy for your client? And so you have to jump hoops sometimes on your end to automate certain aspects. Certain aspects you still have to have the human element to, and it's 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 a it's a structure that you have to uh, test and develop for your own business, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, one of the things that will help you do this is having a lot of energy because in the end, if you are going through the grind, if it's your year one or year two of running your business, uh, things don't always go your way. It, it's, it's, you know, some, sometimes a trial and, and, and error. And if you don't have energy to back you, to drive you through when you have to have, do a lot of work, um, then it's, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be a downside. Now, I'm a big coffee guy. That's why I made a reference earlier to Starbucks. So if I have five or six cups of coffee a day, day, uh, you know, then that helps me, you know, like two, three cups of coffee before the gym, uh, come home, do my thing, start work. And then the second I start feeling a little, oh, you know, it's time to get an Americano with an extra shot. So that then once again, the energy goes up. Now you might be doing something different, but keep your energy high. If you are, uh, if you're going through the grind, especially, and, and if your business starts doing this, you have to be energetic, right? People feel that in your voice. Um, so, so make sure that you address energy 
and address the approach to the drive through nation, combine them together and execute together. All right, guys, please subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, let me know. Go do your thing. Go win one day at a time, ladies and gentlemen, one day at a time.